Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Miss Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you how to film makeup tutorials for Instagram. I'm going to be showing you step by step so you don't want to go anywhere so that you can learn how to do this on your own and you can make some bomb ass looks for your Instagram page and I know that there are not a lot of people that are very open to talking about how to film or edit. So here I am about to teach you how to film your Instagram makeup tutorials. Okay, so the first things first, you're going to need a mirror so that you're able to see the makeup tutorial that you're filming. You're going to take your phone on a stand like this one. I got this from Amazon. It's very inexpensive. It was around $14. So you're going to want to go onto Instagram and this is the easy way to film tutorials. That way you don't have to pay for Facetune because I know Facetune video can be pretty pricey, at least for some of you. So an easy way to facetune your face and use it for free would be to film on Instagram using an Instagram filter. Try to find one that you like, but specifically one that is more natural so that it only covers up the blemishes on your face and it's not changing the way your makeup looks, which is very important. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see part two of this. I'm gonna be showing you how to edit the little tutorials on here so go ahead and subscribe now if you haven't and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified once my videos are up and you guys can see how to edit these little videos so the first thing i'm gonna be doing right now is i'm gonna be doing my makeup on my left eye which is my least favorite eye to do my makeup on and this is just gonna let my viewers know on instagram that I have one eye done already and they have the results in front of them. So if they like the eyeshadow, they're going to wait and see how you do your other eye. So this is why I always have one eye done and then I'm working on the other eye in my little tutorials. This is very important, you guys, because when people watch your full mini tutorials on Instagram, they save them because they want to recreate them and that tells the algorithm, hey, this account is really good and it gets a lot of views push it up and make it go viral <laughs> so that helps you go up and if you guys want me to do a video on how to blow up on instagram i can also do that too doing this method has actually gotten me up to thirty thousand views on instagram so that is awesome you guys this is the way to go if you are really interested in filming makeup tutorials this is really the way to go once you're done doing that one eye, now you're gonna go into Instagram and go to hands free. That way you don't have to keep clicking the button to film and it's gonna record on its own and you can crop out whatever doesn't work for you. Adjust your phone so that it's at a perfect height and also it's important to have your hair done and look as best as possible. Always look your best in your videos because remember, everybody's watching and you never know which video is going to blow up and if they see that you're ready you're fixed up you look pretty your makeup looks good your hair is done you're gonna get more views than if you're in a bun and just doing your makeup on a lazy day with your pajamas on no girl like get up change do your hair and be ready i'm using the madison beer palette by morphe so this is how I put the palette right in front of the video and with my makeup brush I like to point at the color that I'm using first because it's important for your viewer to know which product you're using and which one you're starting with so that they can copy you and want to save this video and by them saving this video is going to get you more views and more followers and that's what we want. Press start as soon as you're ready and then put your brush right onto that color right away and just pose and blink. That's all you have to do just so that you can show that product. It doesn't matter if anything else comes out in the video because you're going to be editing it afterwards. So make sure you mute the video and then save it and then go to the next little clip that you're going to film. Now before we film the next clip, I'm going to show you a trick that makeup artists do not want you to know. So don't go anywhere. This is what we do. We do not record ourselves applying the eyeshadow because we make weird facial expressions or we're not looking directly at the camera. It looks unprofessional, it looks weird. So this is what we do. We apply that eyeshadow color and then as soon as we're done applying it and it looks good because you want the video to look good, that eyeshadow color looks nice and smooth and blended 
Now you want to record when it's already applied and just pretend like you're applying it with your brush without really applying more, if that makes any sense. Watch what I'm doing right here. See, my eyeshadow is already done. I'm clicking play and I'm pretending like I'm applying my eyeshadow color when it's already applied. And that, my friend, is smart <laughs> because that makes the video look good, professional. You're looking at the camera. You have the audience's attention. Then you stop it, you mute it, and you save it, and then go on to the next clip. Then, of course, you do the same thing over and over again, depending on how many eyeshadow colors you're going to be applying. This is me applying the second color, and I'm showing the audience which color I'm using, and then I'm going to stop the video and then do again the step that I told you guys, apply my eyeshadow, and then pretend to apply my eyeshadow when I am recording. You see right here, I'm making some weird facial expressions. That's what you don't want in a video. <laughs> you do not want that coming out on your Instagram makeup videos. Like, that's going to look weird. So now here I am pressing play and there I am pretending to apply that color when I had already applied that color. That's actually very important, especially when you're doing your eyeliner, which is what I'm doing now. See how I'm doing my eyeliner, making all these weird faces? You don't want that in your video, you guys. So do your eyeliner off camera and then record yourself like this, pretending to do your eyeliner while holding the product up. This is the Morphe eyeliner, by the way. This will catch the brand's attention because you're holding up their product, you're showing it in the video, it looks like you're applying it, and that is a big plus because then they send you things for free. It's important that you show every single item that you're using. These are my eyelashes actually from my cosmetic line. If you guys are interested, go to MissEmilyPaintsCosmetics.com or you can also visit the link, it's down below. And it's also important that you show them which eyelashes you're using, exactly every single product and item because they might want to purchase it. And like I said, brands could reach out to you if you tag them and send them to you because you're showing them and that's important to them. And now, as you guys can see, now I'm recording the clip of lipstick so I can show which lipstick I was using during the entire video. But it still looks like I'm applying it, if that makes any sense. And lastly, you want to record this little scene showing the finished results because your followers are going to want to see what it looks like at the end once you're done all put together. So yeah, ladies, that is how you film makeup tutorials for Instagram the easy way because I know that Facetune can be very expensive, especially for videos. And this is just the easier way. This is how I do it every single time. Follow me on Instagram so you can see my mini tutorials. Also, this is going to be a series, so if you want to learn more, if you want to learn how to edit these videos, how to put music in these videos, subscribe to me right now and give this video a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I will be so glad to answer them for you. But yeah, you guys, stay tuned for the next video on this series next week. I'm super, super excited to show you guys how to do this and all these tips and tricks on how to film your makeup tutorials. I know that nobody really gets too comfortable and tells you on here how to do it, but I'm gonna be your big sister now <laughs> and I'm gonna be showing you how to do these little videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.